Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cheers. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I actually did not plan this vlog prior, but I just thought like, hey, I have a pretty chill day. Why not vlog my weekend? I'm just really proud of myself. Let me just get that out the way because the way I've been pushing out content lately, yeah. If you have been here for a while, then you probably would have heard me say once in the past that it takes me about 10 hours to edit a video. Yesterday, I edited my first ever video in under five hours. As in, I started and finished a video in one day. Huh, like, I'm still processing it till now, but I've just been thanking God since yesterday because knowing where I came from, knowing how, you know, strict and nitpicky and how just awful i used to be to myself i used to be so critical about every single detail of my videos but i just think like this whole personal growth journey has just been showing itself in different avenues of my life like i give myself so much more grace with my videos now i really just show up and like kind of fix the clips make it a little more entertaining and then i post it and to me a, a year ago two years ago three years ago four years ago i would watch and rewatch and rewatch and rewatch my footage and then edit it and then watch it and watch it and watch it again and then before posting it i gotta watch it like 10 more times to make sure that it's perfect and i was like why do you hate yourself because that is the only explanation for being so critical over a piece of content like this and it's just one piece of content that's the crazy part but i'm ranting welcome back to my channel today is friday i'm headed to juma i'm low-key late so i might have to go to the second yeah it starts in two minutes, so we're definitely gonna have to go to the second session, um, but there are some things that I want to do prior to that. Can y'all believe, first of all, that 90% of the makeup on my face, not 90%, I say 70% of the makeup on my face is black owned. Can you? Because I can. The beat is just giving soft babe, it's giving porcelain, it's giving skin my skin but better like i am just so obsessed with how flawless and natural my makeup has become lately i'm filming a black owned brand's makeup tutorial next week because you already know like every single black history month i must put out some video that is related to black history month normally i would do like my black owned brands hauls but those videos be a little overwhelming i'm not even gonna lie because i'd be showing like 20 brands in one video and that takes a lot of energy so today i just decided or this month i just decided that i'd rather just do like a makeup one especially since i've been in my makeup bag lately like to me it was low-key a beauty influencer which is so weird to say because I, I just feel like i'd be vlogging but no i do like the makeup stuff too so yeah i'm gonna do that on youtube maybe i'll do like a short form for tiktok but yeah, that's besides the point. Today, I have to go to Ulta, Sephora, Target so that I can pick up some products for that video. I already have a ton of products, some that were gifted, some that I've been experimenting with that I bought on my own. Today, I'm going to go buy the rest of the bulk of products that I want to use for this video. And I'm just going to be testing them out for the next couple of days to see how they wear. These products so far wear beautifully. Um, I have like Mented Cosmetics on, Black Radiance, Fenty of course, Beauty Bakery, like a lot of drugstore products which I'm very happy about. So yeah, I really just love this look too today. So I obviously have to show you guys. My scarf is really old. I don't know where it's from but I'm loving this undercat matching the top vibe. Like this is just so cute. Actually, I think this scarf was gifted to me in a giveaway like years ago a yes the spaz giveaway i won the scarf i don't know where this is from though maybe it's from her boutique that she had um but the underscarf is from amazon it's in my amazon storefront the top is cider the bottoms are also cider let me check the bottoms are pretty little thing and i want to wear sneakers with this outfit but low-key y'all I like hit my foot on the door really really hard and there's like a visible bruise on my foot and it's been hurting so badly so like I know I can't wear anything else but sneakers with this but I'm just preparing to suffer um but to go to the mosque I do have like an extra abaya to just swing over the outfit that I'm wearing right now 
Yeah. As of right now, I have not announced the giveaway winners yet, but I'm sure by the time this goes live, the giveaway winners would have been announced. So congrats to y'all. Um, and oh my God, that means my hijab story video would have gone live, which is like the most nerve wracking thing ever. That was actually the video that I edited yesterday and it took me like four and a half hours, which was uh, such a beautiful experience. Like editing and finishing a video in one day, I want more experiences like that. But um, that might be the most transparent and like vulnerable video I've ever done on my channel. Y'all know like I'm a very private person, so I try not to be like too open. But yeah, I was very open in that video. And I'm proud of myself though, because it, it's empowering, not just to me, but to others. But like, it feels good to know that my experiences were not in vain, like they can help other people. And it just be a really a learning experience for others. Like everyone does not have to like relate, but it's still new knowledge for some people and other it's relatable knowledge. So yeah, if you haven't already, go check that video out. But yeah, girl, pretty chill day. I'm definitely gonna get boba today. I haven't had boba in like 10 days. I'm late for the mosque, so I might as well just like go out right now and get some boba and then start my errands. So yeah. Oh, and I'm wearing this purse, by the way, from Lulu's. Very cutie. Yeah, just perfect. Um, The shoes, not much, really. I'm just wearing these dusty old air force ones because they're like the most comfortable sneakers i have right now and i really would rather not put on anything that will irritate my foot anymore so yeah little impromptu vlog for you guys i hope y'all enjoy it i hope i'm able to keep you entertained i hope we have fun today so yeah i will see y'all in the next clip wait i'm back do y'all do y'all think i should rock the headphones today or no i love these headphones like i feel like it's just a must as a hijabi and i was really looking around like for a good pair of headphones that i'd get like a good bang for my buck these are the beat studio threes by the way the wireless ones and this is their gray color i just love that it's like two-tone and snood inside um not only that though these last like five hours like they don't die. I at least have never experienced them dying on me and it takes them like 15 minutes to charge which is so great. I've been using these for editing and I love, love, love editing with these especially because I don't know what it is but sometimes when I edit with AirPods the footage and the audio will lag so when I'm editing I'll like cut places I'm not supposed to be cutting but with this it's very, very accurate. It's like real time sound and this is not sponsored. I just really love these and I'm like maybe I should Put them on today i wore them yesterday and i'm gonna insert a picture on the screen i recorded like a little reel just for fun and like it was such a look yeah i'm gonna stop rambling now let's head out for real y'all i am really torn up inside because i know i want boba but i also know that i want starbucks but if i'm being honest with myself the only thing i really want from starbucks are some egg bites so maybe i should just go get boba and go get egg bites but who wants to stop twice like I already have a bunch of errands I forgot to mention to y'all actually but I am selling my Canon ADD my first ever camera my first ever upgrade from this little iPhone if you've been here for a while then you know I started my channel with an iPhone 6s back camera and that is how I made my living for a long time until I mustered up the strength wait was it the canon add i'm pretty sure it was the canon that i got first but then i wanted to start vlogging and i couldn't vlog with the canon because it was so big so then i got the sony so yeah my baby i'm finally selling him it's been a good run but honestly this camera has been collecting dust in my closet for at least a year now i tried to use it recently to take some pictures but like it's just too technical for me i really am just happy where i'm at with my sony zv1 for those of you who don't know i use a sony zv1 to vlog these days and it is just the perfect vlog camera for vloggers it's literally a vlogging camera so like i couldn't ask for anything better than how like basic and easy it is to use the canon is just too much for me plus how often am i really doing sit down videos like most of the time i'm vlogging and even when i do do my sit down videos like i'm doing them with this camera now so 
yeah love this camera stand behind this camera i have been wanting to look into the sony ev10 zv10 the new one that they just did um but i've already heard some like backlash against it so like if it ain't broken don't fix it there's nothing wrong with my camera right now i love it so i don't plan on switching it or changing it um just yet but yeah i have my camera here this is gonna be my first time like selling something through uh, marketplace and i'm a little bit afraid the guy he sent me like a deposit so like i know he's for real but like i have talked to so many people and have almost been scammed like 27 times like i'm just so fed up and the thing is this isn't the only thing i'm trying to sell since we're moving we're trying to sell a lot of like the furniture we don't use anymore and like people are just crazy on the internet i'll just be honest people are crazy so it's really scary to think about <laughs> selling stuff and like what if they scam me and give me fake money or what if they just don't give me money at all and they run off with my camera like that's how my brain thinks i'm gonna call um tasaka chaka tasaka the boba spot so that i can just place my order in advance because i don't i don't like waiting hi can i place an order for pickup yeah, just a brown sugar milk tea with double boba please Yes. Okay, your order number is going to be 15. 15? Yes. Okay. I'll see you then. Alrighty, bye. Just like that. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got my boba. Double boba as usual. Honestly, with the amount of boba they gave me today, I think I'm gonna hold off on the egg bites because this is a meal. And the guy, Loki, I have to go meet him like now, so I don't wanna keep him waiting. I feel like he thinks I'm a scammer. <laughs> so, like, we're all, I feel like we're all trying to prove ourselves to make sure, like, if you've ever sold anything online, then you know what it's like. You're just like trying to prove yourself that you're not a scammer, whilst also everyone else is trying to prove that they're not a scammer, whilst some people actually are scammers. Like, it's just a bit much, you know? It can be a. A bit overwhelming but oh, ah, cheers hope you guys spoil yourselves with boba today i wish i could tell y'all to come here but everyone does not live where i live but if i could i'd make sure all of you guys get at least one of these a week because baby this boba something serious that first sip that first sip is always going to hit because the thing is like the boba they just cook it's always fresh so the boba is hot and then the tea is cold and then it's sweet oh my goodness oh my goodness gracious mm. Mm. i just can't i'd be wanting to like work inside of here like bring my laptop and edit you know like a little coffee shop vibe but the reality is that I don't trust myself. I do not trust myself to sit in a boba shop for hours. Not just any boba shop, but my favorite boba spot for hours and expect that I'm gonna get work done. Baby, I'm trying the whole menu, okay? I would have left there at least 15 pounds heavier. Oh my God, there's a chicken, y'all. Please look. Oh wait, maybe it's a rooster. Do y'all see it? Like, that's just so random. Anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all later because I do not want to promote vlogging and driving. All right, y'all. So it wasn't a scam. We did, in fact, sell the camera. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to get that out the way. I do feel a little bit, like, sentimental. Like, dang, like, I don't know if I was ready to sell it. But I'm just happy that someone else will get some good use out of it because I have just been recording that camera for the longest hopefully you know the selling process is easier going forward now that i have like you know a little bit of experience under my belt with like selling you stuff but like i definitely want to like sell more stuff because i'm so quick to throwing items out when i don't feel like they're useful anymore so i just want to get into the habit of like either giving them away or if they're in like like pristine condition like sell it to somebody like you don't get some coins so yeah i'm happy i'm happy that that was successful i'm in front of ulta right now so before i head to juma 
I'm definitely going to go into Ulta and look at a couple of products. I'm interested in the Mented Cosmetics concealers. Those are supposed to be really good. I hate that they don't have a lot of hype behind them. Like no one is talking about their products. But I hope that I'm able to sh shed some light on them and, you know, bring some attention to their brand. Right now I'm wearing one of their lip liners, which is absolutely phenomenal, along with their brow pencil. And, um, yeah, lip liner and brow pencils. They did send me like a lip gloss, which was really, really beautiful, but I want to try their complexion products. So yeah, hopefully I can find those inside of Ulta. And then, yeah, what other black owned brands are inside of Ulta? Basically just Fenty and Mented. There has to be more, there's no way. Don't sleep, y'all. Do not sleep, okay? The setting powder under the eyes, black owned, Amy Cole. They have the best, the most fine, and just the prettiest yellow setting powder. And I have been crazy about that for the longest. But yeah, gonna go into Ulta. Don't know if I'm a film in there yet. Y'all know I'm a shy girl, so I will still bring you guys with me and capture what I can. Um, so yeah, off to a good start. Boba check not quite finished yet I don't want to finish it because um I don't I just I just don't I can't believe my camera is gone I really can't believe my camera is gone that's crazy but yeah let's head into Ulta so I just made it back from Ulta. Am I zoomed out? This feels awfully close, but I just made it back from Ulta. Um, they didn't have the Mented Cosmetics concealers. Actually, no store has them for some reason, I guess because they're fairly new. And I don't think I'm going to have enough time to wait for them before I film this video. So I just picked up good old reliable Fenty concealers. I love the Fenty concealers. I don't know why I stopped using them. I think because the applicator brush is so tiny, it kind of bothered me at times, but the actual product itself is amazing. So I picked those up and I picked up two other products. I think the Black Opal foundation stick. I've never used a foundation stick, but I think it'll be interesting to see how that wears. I am putting that up against the Danessa Mavericks. I know I'm saying her name wrong. But she has like this like powder balm foundation that I also want to try and see which one is, you know, kind of more my vibe. And then I got a brow gel. I was so afraid that I wouldn't find a brow gel from one of these brands, but I found a brow gel from Juvia's Place. So thankfully, my brows will be in place. And I can't wait to try these products. I still have to go to Sephora, of course, because um, I wasn't able to get the Fenty setting spray along with a couple of other things that I'm still missing. So I'm going to go to Sephora after the mosque, but I'm low-key running late right now. So I'm heading straight to Juma. I just pray that I'm able to find parking since it's the last, the last prayer. They should... It shouldn't be that many people. Very successful Ulta trip. I just love shopping for makeup. Every time I'm in a makeup store, like I feel like my makeup is appreciated a lot more. Like I just get, Rookie, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, oh, my car is so dramatic, y'all. Um, But yeah, I was just getting compliments left and right. I was like, I don't even have that much makeup on. Like I'm gonna go to Juma now so I can pray. And then we're gonna head to Sephora and Target and then yeah who knows where the day will take us honestly i'm in a really good mood so like maybe we'll like do something when does tommy ever do anything besides shop we'll see we'll see So I made it home and wow, today was such a wholesome day. Like I'm just looking back like I'm so blessed and I think it's important that we just recognize our blessings sometimes. Like if you just got to like eat food today, you're so blessed or if you just got to study today or even if you had to do something you weren't necessarily fond of doing like going to work or going to class you are so 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 blessed um i've really just been thinking about the victims in turkey and lebanon and syria who suffered from the recent earthquake and like 
I just keep getting emotional because I'm like, I'm here shopping at Sephora just cause and there are people who are displaced who don't have homes anymore or have passed on or are looking for their families trying to get a hold of their families and still are not able to so if you're having a day like please 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 just do your best to remember that like you have it so good you have it so good for the fact that you're able to watch this video today you have it so 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 good i'm gonna try and find some relief funds and fundraisers that we can donate to to help the victim so please do check out the description box i will have at least like two or three so you guys can have the choice of who you prefer to donate to but um even just a share is helpful, a dua is helpful, a prayer is helpful, just anything at this point because like we are in such privileged positions and to just sit and do nothing while other people are suffering is not right. So I will have a fundraiser or two links down below that you can donate to or share with your loved ones to donate to. Obviously now I have to show you guys the stuff that I got while I was at the stores so oh wait there's one more bag okay so i did go to sephora you guys saw me go to sephora you guys saw me go to ulta and then i went to target i went to target because i had a return to make and i knew target wouldn't have any of the products that i needed because i had already made a trip there for the black owned products that i wanted but i did get some other stuff so I don't know which bag to start with first. I'm gonna start with Sephora because Sephora is the heftiest bag. A lot of the stuff in here, I don't know who sent me to get this, but it's low-key a cute little aesthetic going on in here. Like everything is pink and it's giving Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is actually coming up. First thing I picked up, one size until dawn mattifying spray. I also got the Amy Cole mascara. And then I picked up Faded by Topicals, another one of my faves. I said some things about this in the past, I did. But I decided to give it another chance and I think I am seeing a difference this time. So I decided to pick up another bottle because the bottle that I currently have is running really low. Also black owned, Nigerian owned actually. I picked up the Brazilian Crush Chi Rosa, Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. Every other one of the scents are amazing, don't get me wrong. But this one right here, the pink one is cute too, the orange one is great, but this one just reigns supreme in my eyes at least, or at least to my nose. And then I find Finally, I did it. I got the Fenty Skin, but a drop. Um, the Vanilla Dream one. Did I need this? No, because I still have two tubs that I have not gone through yet. But I like to look at them as collectibles. See, it's limited edition, so I'm not gonna get this again. So why not just like stock up? It has everything that I wanted to have. Like it's moisturizing. I can't argue that. It is also a clean product, or at least it's marketed as a clean product. I haven't done much research on the ingredients used in here, but I trust that they wouldn't put clean on something that's not clean. And then I also got the chance to smell it in Sephora, and it smelled so good. I don't know what the girlies were saying. There were a couple of people that I heard say it smells like nothing, and I definitely smelt something when I was in Sephora. And that's pretty much everything I got from Sephora, but look at how cute all of these little colors look together like isn't this so cute okay i need to like get it together isn't this so cute i did not get nearly as much as i wanted to at ulta because they didn't have majority of the things that i went there for um but i did pick up this black opal true color foundation stick i've never tried anything black opal before but i will be testing this out for the next couple of days to see how i feel about it i got it in the shade hazelnut it looked like my match in the store so I hope that it's able to give that. I also got this brow gel by Juvia's Place. So this is the gel that I will be using in place of the one that I currently use. The one I currently use is the Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which chef's kiss. I love them, first of all. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but they sent me the most gorgeous flowers for Valentine's Day. I have to show you guys after this. Um, but I picked up the Juvia's Place brow gel just to see how this works because I don't think you understand. I really want this to be an exclusively black owned brands video. So I'm going to be testing this out as well. I just got two Fenty concealers. I got one that is a shade match and then one that's a couple shades lighter for actually highlighting. So I got the shade 410 and 385. I just hope that it blends or works well with the other products I use because y'all, 
I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes like certain formulas don't work together. Like certain products just don't work together. So I hope that this concealer works with the setting powder and the foundation stick and all of the other products that I'm hoping to feature in this haul. And then lastly, we went to Target. Let me be completely transparent. I did not need anything from this Target run today. I was returning a product. And I just decided like, hey, let me just look around one more time and see if there's anything that I need. And I didn't need these, but there's first, okay, one, there's something about returning a product that feels sort of like you're getting a discount on what you're buying. So basically like if I go to Target and I'm returning like, let's say like some chapstick or something, it feels like I'm getting a discount because I know that money is coming back and I'm about to spend more money while I'm there. So it feels like, you know, I'm getting a little 10% shaved off of the grand total. So I just have, it's just a bad habit, but I like to shop after I return items because it, it really does give me the same feeling as like finding a discount code online. I was heavily, heavily influenced by Love JC. Finally try the Saltaire body washes. If y'all don't know her, she is an amazing TikToker and she has a YouTube channel as well. I love her vlogs so much and she influenced me. Every single one smelled amazing, but I just could not get over these two and I couldn't pick which one was my favorite. I love a good citrus smell early in the morning. Like I feel like this just does a great job at waking me up early. It smells like an exotic citrus, like not just like a plain old orange. Then I picked up their pink drink or pink beach which is a complete opposite it's not as strong as that one it's very very faint I don't know why the smell is called pink beach because I don't get that from this at all I will definitely be getting some good use out of these and these are also clean which I love like I love me a good clean product like it just makes me feel like I'm on the right track with my life you know I'm just happy <laughs> like, I'm just happy this is the retail therapy I needed plus I've been working myself to the bone lately not to the bone but very close and I deserve this why did I move the camera I kind of want to do a video on tips that I feel like would help aspiring vloggers a lot of you guys will ask me like for tips for aspiring youtubers but I can't speak for every single niche I can only speak for the niche that I have been and the ones I have used in the past or been a part of in the past but I think a major thing that has made vlogging for me lately so easy is that my life is actually what I show y'all and there were portions in my career where I felt like I had to like plan out a crazy week or day of events to keep y'all entertained so create a life that is your routines that is your just day-to-day -day activities just create a life that you love and is entertaining to you because I feel like my life is pretty entertaining I am a homebody but like I do stuff like I, I shop I eat, I cook, <laughs> I ice skate, that's cool. I just do stuff, you know, but um, <laughs> I really don't be doing that. I travel. So it's not hard to pull out the camera because I'm authentically showing up as myself. Whereas in the past, I felt like I had to perform and that is just so draining. I don't want to knock it completely because I know there are people who are able to make that work seamlessly and that's amazing for them but for me it was very very draining to live like that or at least to show up in my job like that so if you find that you are struggling to like make your life interesting just document it as it is like you don't even have to go out of your way to find cool hobbies or things like that but document it as it is because someone will find it fascinating or someone will find it relatable believe it or not and continuously do that so people can grow with you and see the different seasons of your life and they're going to be interested to see where life takes you and what you end up doing because of this and that and naturally when you are just documenting things it creates a storyline and it becomes a lot easier to keep an audience's attention when you have a storyline like when you have characteristics and you have goals and you have problems and you have kind of like any show that you watch really like there's a plot there's an issue there's a potential solution there's a villain there's all of these things we have those things in our real life you just have to be open to documenting them overarching theme is to show up authentically if you're not comfortable with where you are right now create a life that you love and can show up with authentically i'm talking y'all's heads off i'm so sorry my mom is calling hello hi mama 
What are you eating? Nothing. I haven't eaten today. All right, y'all. So that was my mom on the phone. Let me show y'all these flowers. I low-key wish I was vlogging sooner so you guys could have seen my reaction when I got them because I was like... Who, whose house did y'all mean to send this to? Because this was definitely a mistake. But no, it was not a mistake, y'all. Look at these beautiful flowers from Anastasia Beverly Hills. For Valentine's Day, it's so freaking cute. And the vase is even cuter. It's so many flowers. They smell like flowers. Not like the good smelling kind of, but still so beautiful. Ooh, this one smells good. Okay, some of them smell really nice and some of them just smell like leaves, but so, so, so happy. I really like, I, Anastasia Beverly Hills, just the fact that I've worked with them several times is like something I'm still processing to this moment. And then the fact that they sent me flowers, it's just like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? What exactly is happening? Like, they did not have to do this. And I didn't even know I was on, like, you know, I guess it's like a friend basis with them. <laughs> to send flowers, like, that is just so sweet. And the note, too, they were congratulating me on 200K. And I was like, you guys knew that I hit 200K? Like, that is just such a big deal to me. So, yeah, really just been taking that in, embracing it and being so, 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 so grateful for it. I'm so happy that I'm in a position now where I have like good representatives, like my managers are so amazing and they're helping me to foster great relationships with brands. And this is just the start. Like this is just the start. I'm gonna see you guys later. Welcome back. It's Saturday and i am running late once again when am i not running late i'm running late to my ice skating class i wanted to show you guys my outfit though super quickly isn't this cardigan so cute i got this from cider the top no idea the leggings are shein once again y'all i haven't shopped at shein for the longest time but for some reason like i have a lot of pieces in my closet that have been lasting from them which is great but yeah i'll let you guys know the plans for the day once i am in the car so we are finally on the road full face is black owned i am obsessed with this routine this took me no more than 15 minutes i am just so happy that i managed to get such a solid routine together without having to experiment too much and it's black owned the only thing that i wasn't able to secure was a black owned setting spray that you know is mattifying. The Fenty one is supposed to be a dewy finish and I like a dewy finish sometimes, but I feel like I naturally have like combination skin. So whether I have a dewy spray on or not, by the end of the day, my makeup is going to be dewy. So I don't want it to, I don't want it to be prematurely dewy. If y'all have any suggestions though for like a matte black owned setting spray, let me know. I haven't had breakfast today and I low-key wanted to be irresponsible and stop at Starbucks, but like I am going to be late. Whether I stop at Starbucks or not, I'm gonna be late. And I don't know, I just don't want to be later than I'm already on track for. So I think I'm just gonna head to my class. I have to go pick up an order from Whole Foods and then I actually have to do some grocery shopping. I was thinking that I would stop by Trader Joe's. I have a confession to make, y'all. I am not a Trader Joe's girly. I really don't see the hype. I think a lot of the things that they sell are so, so tiny and it'll have like two portion sizes in it. And then everyone's like, oh my God, $3. This is amazing, so inexpensive. And it's like, no, you're just eating a serving and a half. I haven't tried much from there, but from the few times I've gone in there, it's just been like, I'm an Aldi girl all the way through. Okay, I love me some Aldi. I wanna go to Aldi, but I also wanna give Trader Joe's another try because I have seen some like, you know, die hard Trader Joe's girlies like have like these recommendations on TikTok and everyone agrees. So I think maybe I should just give it a try and see. I have to go grocery shopping today. I think I have to post a TikTok for a, a sponsored TikTok. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty chill day. I was thinking like maybe I should do like a reel later, like film the Fenty face one since the Super Bowl is tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. 
I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I'll have the time or the energy or if I'll get back by the time that there's still adequate lighting. So yeah, we'll see. I didn't get my egg bites yesterday, so I'm definitely getting them today after my class. I've been craving them since yesterday. They're so good. Aldi actually has like a dupe for it, which is chef's kiss. It doesn't taste exactly the same, but it's like the same concept. And it tastes good in my opinion, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick those up today. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all after my class. Hello, mushroom egg bites. See anything else? That'll be it. 12.26. Thank you. Y'all, let's see what they write on my cup today, cause. So pretty. Oh, thank yeah, you. Coming right out. Of okay, thanks. Thank you. Got my Starbucks. Got the kale egg bites, like I told y'all. I changed my scarf style as soon as I left. Um, it's been really hard to wear hijab at my ice skating class um, because I naturally already stand out since there aren't many other people of color there. I think there's like two others beside me. And there'd be like 50 people in there at a time sometimes. So it's really hard, um, which is why like I try to like, you know, like wear a little turban, make it look a little like casual in there. Um, but I can't wait for the day where I could just like really just show up any type of way. Um, but I stick out so much and I get stares naturally. Like even before I started covering my hair in there, I'm always getting stares. But yeah, hopefully with time it'll get better. I said light ice. Loki, this is not mixed. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh. Maybe they're in a rush or something. I don't know. Mm -mm. But yeah. Oh my god, guys. I cut myself on my ice skate today. I've never, ever, ever cut myself with my skates before or with rental skates. With skates, period. But today when I was putting them on, like, I completely forgot that the blade is sharp. And I touched the blade. And I sliced my finger. That was the first time that I was like, dang. Like, skates are really sharp. I had no idea they were that sharp. But it cut the heck out of my finger. See, that's more like it. This is what, well, actually no. Bruh, they might as well have just let me go in there and make it myself. Why is the whole scoop of matcha powder on the bottom? So yummy. They look kind of scary. I tried making these at home once. Oh my God, what a fail. I still had to eat it though because we already know like how expensive eggs are right now. So there was no way I was throwing them out, but it was absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna need to go on TikTok or something and find like the Starbucks recipe because I know for a fact that TikTok is gonna have it. I'm just imagining these with like some ranch. Is that nasty? I feel like that would hit though. Mm. But yeah, before I started talking to y'all, I was listening to a Tony Gaskins video. If y'all don't know who he is, he's kind of like a life relationship coach. He's actually from Florida. But like, I've really been enjoying his videos for the past year um, because he just has a very refreshing male perspective. He's country as hell, so his videos are so funny. I think his perspective and his message is really, really, really powerful. And I just like to hear him talk sometimes. Like, in place of music, I'll just put on one of his videos and his videos be long too. his videos be like an hour sometimes two hours so like I'll just have that playing in the background sometimes while I'm at the gym I really do like his videos um he's an acquired taste though there's a lot of people that like don't like him I tried to put my sister onto him and she was like what is this <laughs> I was like it's an acquired taste like you gotta give it a couple of videos and you gotta really hear him because he speaks in his own lingo like I said he's very country so he be coming up with words sometimes, but like, I really, re I just, I just, I really love his videos and he has a beautiful family. He's just like a very refreshing man to see, especially in society today with how many like degenerates we have walking around. Like it's so nice to see a man, a quality man, you know, who is about what he says. So yeah, I don't know him personally, but he's real. So that's very nice. I don't agree with everything he says. Let me also say that because he do be saying crazy stuff sometimes but i don't think we need to agree with everybody that we watch or everybody that we listen to everybody that we consume like people be so extreme extreme like why do you need to be on the absolute same page with absolutely everybody you're not even on the same page with your parents about life or your best friend or your siblings like we all have different perspectives and I feel like there's some it's just so mature to be able to see where someone is coming from and not agree with them but still understand like okay I get why you think like that I don't think like that but I respect your approach and you know that's how you see life you have experiences that made you 
think like that and that's valid you don't have to be on the same page with absolutely everybody like be for real y'all i might have to get more of these this is so good like every bite is doing something to me mm. don't take my word though that's one thing everybody does not have the same taste as me i like mushy things like this this is a very mushy food item so if you're not like if you're big on textures like you just can't eat like things like oatmeal or avocado don't get this but if you don't mind get it i actually like i seek foods that have funny textures so that's why i love boba so much because it, it's an experience inside of your mouth same with avocado same with oatmeal tomatoes like all of the foods that people are like mm, no i don't like how that feels in my mouth give me that i'll eat it i'll take it off your hands right now comment if you can relate because like i feel like a lot of people don't get that but that's why i'll fiend for things like this or like mashed potatoes for example or like porridge oh mushrooms is another one and there's mushrooms in this but i'm really a mushroom fan like i'm a mushroom girly i just don't know how to make them every time i've ever made them they taste so bad So I'm just leaving Trader Joe's. Um, my experience, I feel the same way I did the first time I like peeked in there, if not worse. The vibes in there were completely off. Like there was just too many people. Maybe I chose the wrong day considering it is Saturday. Like everyone is at every store. But like it's just so like everybody was looking in my cart. Mind you, I did have my camera in there, but it was kind of tucked, like you can't see it. But like, I, I can imagine that if I didn't have my camera out, people would still be looking in my cart. Maybe, I, I don't know. And then one employee came and told me that I couldn't film in there. And I was like, that's weird because every other influencer I know films in Trader Joe's all the time. But the lady who rang me up was so sweet. She was very curious to know, you know, what I do. And she even told me like, it was weird that the lady said, not to film in there because people typically film in there they take pictures all the time people are always doing hauls in there she even gave me like a free bag um like a free reusable bag and like she was really sweet god bless her heart but everybody else in there mm -mm. aldi is so chill no one is no one cares everybody is minding their own facing their front i did buy some stuff from trader joe's though that i'm gonna be trying out for the first time i got some like waffles I got some blueberries, bananas. The blueberries were not a bad price at all, so I was very happy to pick them up, but all the other produce was very expensive, so I said, nah. And yeah, I got like random stuff. It's a very random trip, but there's my review, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's just my Trader Joe's. I feel like the Trader Joe's in places that are a lot more, you know, diverse with the times, current, you know, younger population. I feel like those places are a lot their Trader Joe's are a lot cooler. Like they have all of the TikTok stuff and the people in there are just cool, you know? But in there, uh-uh. That's why I don't come to this side of town. Like where the filthy rich people live, I just don't come here because the vibes are always so weird. <sighs> I feel like I was holding my breath in there. Oh my God, and it's already hard enough to film in public. Um, but something that's been working for me, if you're someone that just likes to capture B-roll while you're out, put some headphones in and like blast. Like, I was listening to Tony Gaskins in there, so like, put some headphones on and blast like your favorite artist if you have a favorite artist or a podcast or a YouTube video, just something so you're able to disassociate a little from the fact that you're filming in public. That helps me a lot with um, filming in public because, like, without that, I am thinking about all the potential things that the people around me are thinking about. But when I have like something in my ears, I can only focus on like so many things. So, I'll see y'all once I get to Aldi.
All right, y'all, I made it home. I have a plate of hash browns in front of me. Don't ask me why. Came home to some packages though. It's getting weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's like the brands know when I'm vlogging and then they send them, because before this I had none. There were no packages here and now there are one, two, three, four for us to go through. So I'm excited. Plus my clothes from Boohoo came. Yeah, I don't wanna waste any time because it's getting dark. Let's start with this first package, which looks like it's from Beauty Blender. What did y'all have to say to me? Beauty Blender has never sent me PR, but I have worked with them on a real ones this is what it looks like inside let's see oh indulge in the best i'm so excited to share our new sweetest blend collection available exclusively at ulta beauty we hope you get your sugar fix with treats from sugar fina thank you for the support okay it looks like it's a makeup sponge a sponge and a cleaner so this is what's inside of the box and lastly inside of here we do have some gummy bears i already know these are not halal so i'm gonna have to like give these away Thank you still to Beauty Blender. So the next package is from L'Oreal. What? Oh my God, look at the box. My childhood self would be screaming right now because this was one of the first foundations I ever wanted to try. I never got the chance to because I wasn't allowed to like wear makeup in high school, but I was always fiending to try their true match foundation oh my god oh my god i know they didn't send me their true match foundation they sure did send me their true match foundation oh my gosh so this is what's inside of the box they sent me three freaking shades thank you so much so l'oreal like what this next box looks like it's from the same address so it might be from l'oreal as well oh this is from l'oreal as well oh because i have been needing a new vitamin c oh my god thank you i got one more package from af94 i did open it already because i like look at the size i had to so this is what it looks like inside this is supposed to be halsey's brand yeah and there's like stickers in here too eyeliners shadows it also came with a little what is this no it's not i thought this was a drawstring bag this is a tote i love me a good tote my ipad would fit perfectly in here too and i don't have a black tote oh, love let me open this boohoo package i was so scared because they told me it was delivered and i was like where it was in my mailbox the first thing i got i know th what this is already it's a dress it's a long sleeve crew neck dress literally full length as you can see it's ribbed and it feels like pretty decent material it's inside out though i wonder why they sent it to me inside out like it's literally you can see the tag and everything i actually did size up on that though because i don't want it to be like form fitting so i'm pretty sure i got this in a size oh my god i really sized up i got it in a 16. this doesn't so the next thing I got, this is just a random long sleeve top. I need more long sleeve tops that have crew necklines like this because a lot of the long sleeve tops I have right now are like really deep um, necklines and it's really hard to style those because what I'm going to do, wear another shirt under. I already live in Florida, so it's like not even reasonable to be layering like that. So I've been looking to find like shirts exactly like this. I would have loved if it was a bodysuit because I feel like the bodysuits are a lot easier to tuck. But it's long enough. It's not like super cropped or anything. So I also got this um, sized up in that as well. And then the next thing I got was a t-shirt, a bodysuit this time. Low-key almost the same color as that. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Literally almost the same color. But this one is a t-shirt. So I'll definitely be like putting a cardigan or something over this and this is a bodysuit i got this one in a size 12 i don't know if i actually ordered that in a size 12 i wear an 8 so i don't know i don't know anyways the next thing i got was a sweater for working out or a hoodie if you will um it was kind of like a hoodie dress though so it was really long it almost goes up to your knees so this is what it looks like i love this color I want more of this color in my closet. On camera, it's picking up as orange, but it's actually like a salmon-y um, peach color. I feel like this color and my skin just were made for each other. So I always try to like look for pieces that have this color, but it's a really, really long hoodie. I also got this oversized, I think. This is a 1618. What is going on? I think there was an issue with my order because a size up for me would be like a 
10 or a 12. Also got another dress. This is literally the same as the black one I just showed y'all, except it's in a tan color. So now I'll have two full length dresses that I can wear, which I'm very excited about. And then finally, I got, oh, another long sleeve top. And this one's inside out too. What is going on? And this is the only US 8 piece I got. What is going on? This order is all the way confused. This is what it looks like. Very simple, just long sleeve. I low-key got a top just like this from Cider, except it's kind of turtleneck and it's ribbed. Um, but the more the merrier. I really am just trying to stock up on modest basics right now so it's easy for me to like swap through things instead of getting so many like statement pieces. Now I'm gonna finish my hash brown cleanup and yeah that's pretty much it for the day to be honest. I was hoping I'd get home a little earlier so I could binge some like YouTube and catch up but I'm gonna have to find what me and my mom are gonna eat tonight. I don't know when I became a personal chef but now it's me that's always cooking so I have to figure out what we're gonna eat and then yeah I think I'm gonna call in a night here. Tomorrow we do have to do a little Sunday reset. I actually have to wash my car. It's been too long. So on that note I will see you guys tomorrow. you guys hold on i need water i'm flustered it's sunday so obviously we have been resetting since morning i will admit this was a very lazy reset on my part i did not do a complete reset if that makes sense every weekend i don't do the most like let me be honest with y'all some weekends i'll like take some shortcuts to cleaning and if a place doesn't need to be cleaned like i'm not just gonna clean it for the sake of saying i cleaned it and even the places that need to be clean, like I don't, I clean them, I just don't do the most. So I didn't do the most today and somehow I'm still flustered, but I'm basically done. I just have laundry running and I still have to wash my car, but my mom has some people coming over to demount our TV. So yeah, I can't really go anywhere till that happens. Um, but yeah, it's been a day. It's 2.46. Today's actually the Super Bowl. I'm not interested in the Super Bowl, but I'm very interested in seeing my girl Rihanna perform. So I'm very excited for that. A little update on some of the stuff that you guys saw me buy in this vlog. The Saltair body wash. Hmm. I haven't tried the citrus one yet, but the Pink Dream. Was it Pink Dream or Pink Beach? I think it's Pink Beach. Um, yeah, in the shower, like it just is not i don't know pink beach doesn't smell like anything and this if there's a smell of anything it doesn't last so i'm not a fan of that but it does sud really nicely and it gets you clean so i guess that's good um but as far as the scent like it just was not giving i think naturally though it's because that specific scent is a very faint scent compared to every ever what am i saying that particular one the pink beach was like the faintest scent of all of the body washes i smell so i'm just gonna assume that's why i'm in terms of the trader joe's food y'all i had the shrimp gyoza dumplings last night and i take back everything i said about trader joe's <laughs> i'm so sorry those dumplings were amazing like even my mom who doesn't eat seafood i forced her to eat one and she ate half of the pack 
like we finished the pack last night it wasn't that much either it wasn't like a crazy amount but we finished the pack last night it was so freaking good on top of that i had the oat milk the trader joe's oat milk this morning with my matcha and it definitely hit different i was like why have i been drinking cashew milk with matcha all this while like the oat milk really makes it hit different and that's what i always order at starbucks i was like why why but yeah i really like the oat milk from trader joe's as well and another hit for me is their ginger muffins i was like hmm i've never heard of that seen that but i'm very interested to see what it tastes like and i saw someone pick it up while i was there so i was like why not and i had that this morning as well oh that was so good that was too good i had only half my mom ate the other half i'm probably gonna have another half later because it was just so good on top of that, oh my God, there were so many hits. I had one of the egg frittatas, frittata, frittata, frittata. I had one of the egg frittatas this morning. It was like a cheese and veggie one, I don't know. That was a banger as well. So I guess Trader Joe's will be seeing me again after all. I wanted to be a hater so bad. Not even that, but I feel like our Trader Joe's location is weird. The one that we have is just weird. So I'm just gonna have to go in there next time, close my eyes, face my front, because for those shrimp dumplings and that ginger muffin, I will do it again. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, you already know what these are. I, I've been trying to take it easy with the true fruits because I know they're really high in sugar regardless of whatever i may like about them it's a lot of sugar so it's kind of just been like an end of the day treat for me but yeah since there's no rush to go get my car wash i think i'm just gonna chill on my ipad see if i can edit some reels for next week ahead of time probably watch youtube i've actually been watching a mckenna's weekly vlog somebody need to give that girl an award because two hour vlogs is just amazing Shout out to McKenna Walker for that. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I am not built like that. Please do not expect that from me anytime soon. Uh, Cause I can barely make one hour. excuse the lighting don't ask why i'm in the same hoodie as yesterday but it's a new day it's monday and i have just been attending to my monday necessities i got off a call with my therapist earlier which was woo emotional trust and believe it don't matter what i'm going through if i have a call with my therapist during the week that my cycle is about to start i'm gonna find something to cry about but it's perfect because like she's just the best outlet for that who she don't tell you know like i can just cry to her about literally anything so that call was really good yeah it's been a good day i have like all the laundry from last night still on my bed <laughs> actually it was on my dress overnight and now it's on my bed but yeah today's pretty chill honestly i'm not gonna lie i've been like making a couple calls and editing like very little stuff but i actually just finished this book all about love by bell hooks and wow highly highly suggest that everyone check this out it was a pretty pretty good read it opened my mind and my eyes a lot to the ways we have been taught the things we've been taught about love and how a lot of these things are very far from what love actually is and i love the book because it talks about more than just romantic love you would think that you know from the red and like you would think that this is a romance book but it's absolutely not um it has to do with everything familial love divine love friendship love relationship love so really really love this one of my 2023 goals is to read 12 books i tried this once in the past and i failed because i restricted myself to like one book each month and if i didn't finish it that month it kind of just like the goal was purposeless but this year i'm giving myself flexibility because i know now i always predict that i will have all the time in the world to finish one book in one month so this took me a little longer i wasn't reading it every day i was reading it when i had the time yeah this was my january read i'm about to get started on my february read which is 
she wore red trainers i'm not sure who the author is but i do know that the book is supposed to be like a halal love story so i'm very excited for that i already ordered it so it should be here by like tomorrow or the next day which is so funny because tomorrow is valentine's day whenever i finish it i'll move on to my march book i actually have all my march books technically my march and april books are like religious books because ramadan of course i had another egg frittata from trader joe's today and chef's kiss it was actually the last one which is so sad i also had the waffles that i got from trader joe's which are really good actually i just got a new matcha set um and i think you know what this might be what happened so recently i broke my matcha bowl i like to think of it as like my lucky matcha bowl it was this cute little bowl from this restaurant in toronto called mandarin it was kind of like a buffet restaurant that me and my family used to go to when i was little and i always had that bowl so i used that bowl for my matchas broke it recently and ever since i broke it my matchas have been so bad so i got a new matcha set on amazon from the company mars and let me show you what it looks like inside this is basically everything that it comes with new matcha whisk a bowl a strainer is that what you call this girl i don't know uh, i don't know what that is either i think it's like a whisk holder and then in here there's supposed to be like a stick or something i'm not sure but this is everything that comes inside of it. I'm going to just hope for the best because not only did the bowl break, but my whisk is really old. Like so old that some of the like branches, I call them branches, but some of the like wooden pieces have fallen off. Too many of them have fallen off. And my whisk is not spread out like this. Let me show y'all. My whisk is not like spread out like this. It's like really tight knit together. I don't know if you're supposed to wash it with soap, but every time I use it, I wash it with soap. I saw someone say you only wash it with water, but that just doesn't sit right to me. So yeah, hopefully these new tools will help my matcha start tasting like matcha again, because recently it's just been so bad. And I think another thing too is that our ice machine has been funny. So I haven't been having ice matcha lately. So it's been like consistent, like hot matchas and they don't even be that hot because you can't burn the matcha so it's like oh yeah hopefully the new set makes a difference um but yeah i just wanted to conclude the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it because it is monday no longer the weekend i'm gonna see you guys in my next video